How can you install Grammarly for Microsoft Outlook or for your other Office 365? How can you install Grammarly for Microsoft Word or for your other Microsoft Office apps? Hi there, my name is Brian Collins. Welcome to the Become a Writer Today channel. In this short video, I'm going to walk through exactly how you can set up Grammarly for Word, PowerPoint or your other Microsoft Office apps. And I will also explain what you can do if you want to use Grammarly across any app on your computer including the Microsoft Office 365 suite. Hope you enjoy the content. If you do, hit thumbs up. And to get more videos like this, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Now, some prerequisites. First thing you're going to need is an active Microsoft Office 365 subscription. That's because it'll enable you to download Microsoft Office 365 apps like Word, PowerPoint, and Outlook to your Mac or Windows computer. Secondly, you're going to need a Grammarly account. If you have a free account or a premium account, the steps are the same. However, the premium account has some additional tools that you can use. I've opened up Microsoft Outlook on my Mac. The steps are pretty much the same for Windows. So previously, when I would open up Microsoft Outlook, I would have to install a Grammarly plugin or add-on. These days, it's easier to install Grammarly for your desktop, for Mac or Windows. That's because it's actively supported, whereas the add-on isn't. The easiest way to do this is to simply visit grammarly.com forward slash desktop and click on the green call to action button. Then it will prompt you to download a file to your computer for Mac or Windows and also to sign up with your Google, Facebook or social media accounts. Once you've set up your Grammarly account, then Grammarly will work in the background on your computer and you can use it to check email. When you've installed Grammarly, you should see a pop up like this. Simply click on got it and Grammarly will work away in the background. Now, when you go to write an email, you can automatically scan it or scan it for grammar errors and other issues. So you can see I've pasted in some sample text here and Grammarly is automatically working in the background. The reason why you may want to do this is if you find all of this distracting. So you can see here it's floating at the bottom of my screen and it says there are 20 errors to fix. However, perhaps I'm more concerned with writing my email. So what I'll do is simply click on this, click on the cog and then turn it off in Outlook for 30 minutes or I could turn it off altogether. Then when I finish my email, I can just simply reactivate Grammarly by reopening it and it will scan my email in Outlook for issues. So I hope you enjoyed this short. As you can see, it's pretty easy to set up Grammarly on your Windows or Mac and use it across Microsoft Outlook and the array of Office 365 apps. And the good news is if you follow these steps, Grammarly will work across any application on your computer, not just Outlook. Hope you found this tip helpful. If you do, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And remember, I also have a deal, which I'll put a link to in the notes below this video. And of course, I'll earn a small commission, which I use to record videos like this one.